Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper, with a new antenna today that I'm going to, well, I already built it, <laughs> and I will be testing the W3EDP Mini. Now, this is a very simple antenna. It's based on the ZEP. Uh, we'll talk about the ZEP in a minute. It is comprised of a 4 to 1 ballon with ladder line. So we have 1.3 meters of ladder line here, which is not very long. The original W3 EDP has, uh, I think, 17 feet of ladder line. And this will be uh, the impedance matching section. So we have an unfed wire here, which is attached to uh, one of the conductors of the ladder line. And it's 5.1, I'm not going to put it all out, but it's 5.1 meters long. So not a very long antenna, basically 6.4 meters. And that's supposed to work on uh, between 10 and probably 6 meters also, but between 10 and 40 meters. Now, it's, that's a very short antenna for 40 meters, but we all know that uh, compromise antennas do work. They are not the best. Of course, a uh, resonant antenna is much, much better. In this case, a full-size W3 EDP uh, would be <laughs> much better also. But if we want something short, uh, you know, I thought I'd try the W3 EDP Mini. And I have built uh, a full-size W3 EDP, but although performance was, was pretty good, I ran into the problem of pretty much all antennas that are unfed and uh, non-resonant. Actually, most antennas <laughs> that are not resonant and not balanced, and that is uh, RF current flowing back to uh, on the coax shield and going back to the radio and causing all kinds of problems, especially if you have a key for a CW uh, to produce Morse code. The ZEP antenna is called a ZEP because uh, it was used out of a, a Zeppelin balloon. Now that's not a Zeppelin balloon here, but <laughs> good enough for illustration. It was a very good antenna for uh, to dangle uh, below an aircraft like that, and uh, the patent dates from 1909. The antenna is made of two elements, one being a quarter wave length of uh, parallel feed line, uh, that's number three, and the other one being a half wave wire, and that's number four here. Now, of course, the impedance of the uh, half wave wire is very high at the end. It's a few thousand ohms. And the objective of the uh, quarter wavelength of parallel feed line is to lower that impedance to a few hundred ohms, which is then manageable by the transceiver, which back then would have been a tube transceiver. So SWR wasn't very important. You just had to tune your tank circuit to maximum output and you were done. The ZEP is a single band antenna, although I suspect that it could be used uh, on different bands, uh, certainly with a, with a tuner. But later someone figured out that uh, you could use a random length of wire. When I say random, I mean not a half wave, so the impedance wouldn't be so high at the end of the wire and a corresponding length of ladder line to make a multi-band antenna. And that's what W3EDP did. So we have a 67, we have 67 feet of wire here, which is attached to 17 feet of 450 ohm ladder line, which will lower the impedance of the unfed wire and then that impedance is uh, further lowered by a 4 to 1 ballon. Now I've tried this antenna once again, uh, it worked really well. I had some problems with RF returns, so I will certainly use a, uh, an RF choke with the W3 EDP Mini. I don't remember where I found the schematic for uh, the W3 EDP Mini, probably popped up on Facebook and I've had it in my to-do folder for quite a few months. But credit goes to uh, Jose or Jose VA3PCJ for his drawing. And I'm sure he didn't pick those lengths here at random. We have 5.1 meters of radiating wire, 16.75 feet, and 
a 1.3 meters section of uh, ladder line that's 4.25 I think feet uh, for impedance matching or reducing we have the 4 to 1 transformer which goes to the ATU and then to the radio I will add a an RF choke right next to the ATU on the antenna side because of the problems I had with the full-size uh, W3EDP. All right, so the antenna is already built. Uh, I will take it to the field uh, for testing now, so don't go anywhere. It's coming up uh, right after the break. All right, because this website does cost me much more than what it brings me, I did sign up for an affiliate program with EMP Shield. We are all concerned about EMP's, you know, electromagnetic pulse, especially for radio equipment. And EMP Shield does provide protection for your whole home, for your vehicle and for your radios. I was a bit skeptical, I have to admit, but after looking at all the documentation they have and the uh, military testing they did, so it does look pretty legit to me. I got you a coupon for $50 off at EMP Shield, so don't forget to use it. It's radio proper in one word or lower case. By the way, do use the link down below uh, rather than going to the site directly. That gives me more brownie points. So yeah, we're on the boat. I'm on the boat and uh, going to the uh, Ile de Sainte Marguerite where the man in the iron mask was actually uh, imprisoned. So I'm uh, getting out of the port here, port of Antibes and uh, it should take uh, two, three hours to get there if everything goes well. My uh, newly installed uh, solar controllers uh, seem to work just fine. Uh, Gennison, or Gennison, GV4. After fixing the rudder, and the big question is, uh, is it going to hold? All right, I arrived. <laughs> nothing broke. That's the radio, channel 16. Uh, yeah, nothing broke. Everything is all right. So um, I wasn't planning on trying to use the radio on board, but... You know, I'm thinking maybe I should. I mean, it's a bit late. I'm not going to go on the island right now. But why not? I could uh, I could attach it to a to a line here and put it up up front and uh, you know attach it to the bow and uh, run the cable down here. Oh, there's another boat over there and the island is there, Saint Marguerite. And it's going to be a nice sunset tonight. I didn't bring any food, but <laughs> I didn't bring any any anything special to drink either. But uh, oh well. I'm not here for that, and uh, I'm here for the uh, peace and quiet. All right, so the antenna is uh, is attached to the top of the mast, and uh, you can see it here going all the way up. Of course, there is a little bit of metal. Uh, I mean, those wires are metal here, but uh, it's not too close, I think, and uh, we'll see how that works. The mast is also uh, kind of close, not too close once again, but uh, I don't think it's going to be a factor, but you know, it's it's HF and uh, you never know. I don't even know if it's grounded or not. I don't think it's grounded to, uh, to the ocean, so. For good measure, I also threw a wire. I attached a wire here, a clip to the, uh, to the ground and uh, threw the wire in the water. And that, of course, is to take advantage of that beautiful ground plane we have here. I haven't tuned the antenna yet. <laughs> it's already uh, booming in. So that's, uh, that's a good sign. I'm gonna go as there isn't someone just to tune. It's searching a bit, but I guess it's all right. It's all uh, Italian and Spanish speakers on 40 meters. I'm going to try to find something in English. And by the way, I could have placed this camera in a better spot, maybe on top, but salt water attracts electronics. And uh, if it senses that it's too close to the water, it's going to try to jump in. So ask anyone who has a boat. 
Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. It's a short antenna for 40 meters. Echo Alpha 3, Hotel Uniform Yankee calling security excellency. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Do you copy? I think it's Foxtrot 4, but I'm not sure. Uh, my antenna is beaming west side, and uh, you are very weak. Uh, I will listen again. Roger, this is uh, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, south of France. My name is Albert. My it's name is Albert. Far. And your single report is three by one. Three by one. Uh, microphone three back to one. you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Gilles, Golf India Lima. Golf India Lima. Here you are, 5555 five, five, five in the south of France, the uh, Saint Marguerite Island. And uh, I am on a boat, uh, QSL. Oh, uh, no. Uh, I think your name is Jill. One moment. Let me, let me turn the antenna more in your direction. <laughs> and uh, maybe I can copy you a little bit better. Uh, Jill, I think your name is Jill. I, I'm beaming now and going to north side, north side. Fox 4, Whiskey Bravo Yankee, Echo Alpha 3, Hotel Uniform Yankee. Roger, thank you very much. Uh, I will repeat, uh, you are 5-5 five, five here, 5-5 five, five in the south of France, the island of Sainte Marguerite, island of Sainte Marguerite, offshore uh, Cannes, Charlie Alpha, November, November, Echo. Uh, I am on a boat. I am on a boat. QSL? QSL. Uh, not, not too much better. But uh, I, uh, I understand you are on the island. It's too close for 20 meters. Near to Khan, uh, something like this. Uh, you're still three by one. Still three by one, three by three. A little bit up and down. And uh, not easy to copy you. I'm running about 700 watts into an X beam. Five five with 700 watts. Uh, I'm surprised he receives me at all. Okay, Roger that, uh, Roger. Here I have 20 watts. Uh, 20 watts. Two zero watts. The antenna is a W3 EDP Mini Whiskey three. Echo Delta Papa Mini and uh, with 20 watt and the radio is a G90 G90 QSL QSL uh, now it's better turn a little bit more to uh, over and over north uh, 30 degrees and copy you now with uh, 5 and 3 5 and 3 Jill Not bad. ok thank you very much what is my report now uh, you are about 5.5 uh, five to 5.6, five 5.5 uh, five five to 5.6, five uh, back to you. All right, so I'm tired, it's getting late, it's getting dark, so two contacts on uh, 20 meters. I don't want to draw conclusions yet, so I'll try again tomorrow. Sainte Marguerite, here I come. I'm using my uh, spider beam 7 meter mass. It's a little bit sunny here. So, leaned it against the tree here, and the antenna is just uh, basically hanging down.
and I found myself a little picnic table, so that's perfect. And I can see my boat from here. Foxtrot for Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Gilles, uh, Golf India Lima, Golf India Lima. I'm on the uh, island of Sainte Marguerite in the south of France. Uh, came here by boat. Uh, your signal is 5555 five, 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 uh, QSL. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. And for information, I'm using a 20 watts uh, with a G90, and the antenna is a W3EDP Mini. Over. Okay, at QSL for the 20 watts, I'm using a 200 watts. Antenna is, uh, is a dipole, at QSL. Very good, thank you very much. Well, you have uh, a great Sunday and uh, good luck on the radio. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Have a good one. Okay, my friends, uh, thank you for the contact and uh, all the best uh, to you. I think uh, it's uh, Antip. Antip, so I, uh, yes, I made holidays uh, before in Antip. Uh, Antip, you uh, only uh, I know that I made uh, holidays before there. Thank you. 73. Oh, very good. Thank you. Have a good day. Pretty good. And by the way, I'm using a choke, an RF choke on this antenna, and I think you should too. I had problems once again with the uh, full size W3EDP, so. Oh no, here is a call sign. I think it's a VK, Australia, maybe, not sure. I don't think I'm gonna make this one. <laughs> That's a small antenna like that, I would be floored. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Of course, a lot of people are calling, so... Very good, this is uh, Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. My name is Gilles, Golf India Lima. Golf India Lima, here in the south of France, the island of uh, Sainte Marguerite, uh, QSL. QSL, QSL, QSL. Uh, you are 5 and 8, 5 and 8, 5 and 8 for you, QSL. Very good, thank you, you are 5, 5 here, 5, 5, uh, very clear and uh, I'm using a very short antenna, it's a W3EDP Mini and a G90 with 20 watts, uh, over. QSL, QSL, I have a X6100, X6100 with 10 watts, 10 whiskey and 5 meter vertical wire, 5 meter vertical wire, QSL. Oh, very good, so it's, it's a uh, Xigu to, uh, to Xigu contact, <laughs> very good. Uh, what's your location, uh, your QTH? Over. QTH is a solar summit. A solar summit, the Hohe Schrott, the highest uh, Hohe Schrott in Upper Austria. Upper Austria near Bad Ischl, QSL. Oh, very good. Uh, QSL about uh, SOTA. Excellent. Uh, uh, please give me your call sign again. Uh, call sign again. My call again is Oscar Echo 5 Gold Romeo Foxtrot Portable. Okay. Yeah, very, very nice. A very good modulation. And I hope you have a nice sailing day. I hope the weather is fine. Here it is wind still and sunny. Back to you. Thank you. It's okay here. It's sunny as well. Uh, it's a bit windy. Unfortunately, the wind is in the wrong direction to, to go back home. So uh, I will probably will have to use the, uh, the motor. But uh, it, it is a nice day today in the south of France. Over. Yeah, okay. Hopefully the wind is turning, so you don't need the motor. Hopefully the wind is turning. So have a nice day, Shil. Thanks for coming back. Thank you for the nice contact and 73. Have a nice day sailing. All right, so what can I say about this antenna? Not much, really. Uh, it's really simple. I like it for that reason. It's simple to make and it's cheap. Uh, it's a compromise antenna. You have to keep that in, in mind, absolutely. It's, it's not, not going to perform like uh, an unfed half wave or dipole. Uh, it's just kind of a easy to pack, easy to use antenna. Multi-band, of course, so that's good. You probably should use a choke with it, an RF choke. Uh, it's 
it's practical but it doesn't have a, a great performance and I'm suspecting that my uh, 9 to 1 Unun with the 8 meter wire works better but I would have of course to uh, put them head to head and test them together on the same day the same time uh, to see which one works better and probably you know that might be a, a, another video but uh, that's it for today I have to go home I have a two and a half hour uh, well sail probably not sail because uh, the wind is in the wrong direction so <laughs> probably can't use the uh, the sails to uh, to go back home uh, probably will have to use the uh, the motor oh well that's life have a good one!